Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at 15 of the best 9mm handguns in today's market, 2022. I own each and every one of these. I know them very well. I feel confident with my choices. These are great 9mm handguns, so let's get to it. Here we have the Beretta 92X Performance. I believe this is the finest handgun Beretta has ever made. They introduced it in 2019 and it is truly a winner. It comes with two 15 round magazines, a frame mounted ambidextrous thumb safety, vertex style grip, a little bit thinner, very nice checkering in the front and back strap, full pick rail there, 4.9 inch barrel, brigadier slide, adjustable rear sights, fiber optic front sight, and an incredible single action trigger pull that I am measuring right at four pounds. With a reset right there, very short. Double action trigger pull is extremely smooth as well. It does have front serrations there. Beretta calls those sawtooth serrations. But the 92X performance is, is really a performer. It really does well. I, I think this is an incredible all steel frame handgun that is certainly worthy of Beretta's best. I think the Springfield Armory Elite models are some of the finest Palmer Frame Striker Fire handguns out there. This is an Elite 4.5 with a 4.5 inch match grade barrel, full size handgun with mags that carry 20 rounds. The Elite line has wider slide serrations, a flared mag well that is removable, a flat face trigger that I am measuring at five pounds, an extremely smooth trigger pull with a reset right there. It has a striker fire indicator, a loaded chamber indicator bar, additional back straps, an undercut in the trigger guard and ambidextrous controls with the magazine release and the slide stop on both sides. It does have a U-notch rear sight and a fiber optic front sight. Very accurate, very reliable. I, I've loved the handgun since I've had it. I, I, shoot better than I deserve to with the Springfield XTM Elite 4.5. One of my favorites in this entire list is the Tanfolio Defiant Stock Master. Imported by the Italian Firearms Group, this thing is a shooter. 4.75 inch barrel, you can see that it has lightning cuts right there. Fiber optic front sight, adjustable rear sight. Wood grain polymer grips, two 17 round mags, extremely nice checkering all throughout the back strap and the front strap, but a single action trigger that I am measuring right at four pounds. And it is a shooter at the range. You may notice it has some unique slide serrations, more like memory bumps, but I, I love the handgun. You can see a beefy forend, you know, Thick rail right there, but it, it, it's outstanding. I, I love it, extremely accurate. A lot of people told me throughout the years, you have to check out Tanfolio, and the Defiant Stockmaster is doing it for me, and certainly one of the best out there. This is the Walther PDP Performance Duty Pistol. People's heads were spinning when Walther introduced this. Nobody thought they could outmatch the PPQ that so many people love, but they did with the PDP, and this is actually replacing it. One of the things, the cross-directional texturing is so fine, and people love the ergonomics of it. They have a performance duty grip right there that feels even better than the PPQ, which is amazing. 15 round mags, this is the four inch barrel model. Walther calls this their most modular gun ever created. They made it optic ready with three dot sights and a rail and a trigger that is also performance duty right at four pounds, which is another thing people loved with the PPQ, they made a performance duty trigger. Super terrain slide serrations, both front and rear, and a phenomenal shooter. People love the shooting impressions with the PPQ. The PDP certainly does it as its replacement. I think they did a phenomenal job, and it is one of the best in 22. How can we have a best of 9mm without adding the CZ Shadow 2? Impossible. This is the black and blue model. You can see it does have the blue aluminum grips. It looks great. Comes with 
17 round mags, 4.9 inch barrel, ambidextrous thumb safety, forward serrations, a Hajo rear sight, that's height adjustable only, and a fiber optic front sight. Does have a reel right there, a lot of people compete with this, ambidextrous thumb safety. But it's an extremely accurate shooter. People love it. I love it. And one of the things that really sets it off is that single action trigger pull. I am measuring at three and a quarter pounds with a very short reset. People love CZ handguns. They say the Shadow 2 is among the best. No argument here. It is heavy, however. 54 ounces loaded with 18 rounds. And that's with an all steel frame minimal recoil. All around a phenomenal shooting CZ pistol. This is an HK VP9. It has earned itself an extremely fine reputation throughout the years. They now offer 17 round mags, comes with two, a bit pricey, right around 750 bucks. But what you get is a very nice handgun. The trigger I'm measuring right at five pounds, a little lighter than what the website says. The reset right there. Very nice shooting handgun. They also offer additional back straps and grip panels to custom fit the hand size. Four inch polygonal rifled barrel. Does have a striker fire indicator right there as well as three dot metal luminescent sights which when charged by light kind of serves as night sights. They now make this optic ready. It is not a very light handgun, all things considered. 18 rounds loaded, 34 and a quarter ounces, but the HK VP9, many people love it. I love it. I think it's one of the best, and it remains in 2022. Here we have the SIG P226. And this review applies for any of the P226 variations. However, this one is a Talo exclusive model. It does have a PVD coated aluminum frame, 4.4 inch barrel, beautiful rosewood grips. Currently an 18 round Mechgar mag in there. It has a rail right there. Very nice overall feel. Excellent handgun for any purpose. The single action trigger pull I'm measuring right at four pounds. And people who own the 226 will tell you that it is among the finest. Short reset trigger, SRT. So it's an ASC Alloy Stainless Elite and an SRT short reset trigger. But a very beautiful looking and shooting model. People love the P226. It's been around forever. It has an incredible reputation. So proud to feature this Talo exclusive. They're not cheap. You're looking at over a grand, but those who own them will verify it's worth every penny. I remember the first time I saw the Grand Power Excalibur, I said I have to get my hands on that. Now that I've had it for years, I have not been disappointed one bit. 15 round magazines and you will notice it has a five inch fluted barrel that rotates when firing really softens the shot lightning cuts in the slide adjustable rear sight fiber optic front sight nice ergonomic feel ambidextrous throughout with the magazine release slide stop and the thumb safety making it left-handed friendly the single action trigger pull I'm measuring at three and a half pounds. You have to be careful when firing this gun. Very short and light single action trigger pull that creates accuracy that I, I think is unmatched. Like I shoot this gun so well and I've, I featured it in many reviews. I continue to because I hold it in high esteem. I've been a fan of car arms for years, and I love the car K9. What I love is the build quality. Very tight, very strong, very accurate. They are known for making very thin handguns, 0.9 inches wide on the slide. Very thin grip, easy to carry. This is an all-steel model, and this is the handgun that started it all back in 96. It comes with two 7 and an 8-round magazine, 3.5-inch barrel. Trigicon three dot night sights, a trigger that is double action only, measures right around six and a half pounds with a full reset. Low recoil, it has a heavy recoil spring, but the, the recoil is so minimal. Decreases in muzzle rise and an extremely accurate shooter for such a small package. Now, this is one of the 
more expensive car models being that it's an all steel frame one would consider it high end i consider it high end i love the the subcompact form that they have and i love this k9 i think it's just a phenomenal pistol and it really does enjoy a very fine reputation here is a glock 19 nothing can be said about the glock 19 that hasn't already been said however it has a deserved place in this review known for reliability it's a carry gun it's a range gun it's a home defense gun people use it for all purposes and they do so with confidence it has endured so many torture tests and people love the reliability of the glock 19 15 round mags glock has the market covered with aftermarket support there's no doubt about that this has three dot sights a four inch barrel and a five and a half pound trigger with a very nice reset right there an accessory rail and grip texturing that we have come to know the they now make additional back straps for the Glock 19. They, they've really improved over the years with the MOS models now. And the, the Glock 19 is just so common, so popular, and it remains popular after all these years. Even after all these new releases, people still love the Glock 19. And here it is, once again, 2022. This is the SAR P8L, rather new about a year and a half old. I believe it's modeled after the CZ SP-01. Comes with two 17 round mags. It will take CZ mags. You can see it has lightning cuts all throughout the slide as well as a ported barrel. And it is an extremely smooth shooter with an all steel frame weighs in at 46 ounces loaded with 18 rounds. Rubber grips, thumb safety right there that is not ambidextrous, but it has a single action trigger pull that measures right at four and a half pounds. Very smooth, adjustable rear sights, pinned in front dot, a budget handgun for the most part, right around $530. It is an extremely fine shooting handgun. Uh, I'm impressed with SAR USA and they did a great job with this SAR P8L. In terms of budget handguns, I have to go with Canik. I think they do an incredible job. This here is the TP9 SF Elite. It has 15 round mags, 4.2 inch barrel. Canik offers so much in the case, it really is amazing. Right around 430 bucks will get you the TP9 SF Elite. Forward serrations, worn tactical rear sights, serrated black fiber optic front sight. It has a Striker fire indicator, a loaded chamber indicator bar, a sight hole indicator, ambidextrous slide stop, magazine release can be moved over to the other side as well, an incredible trigger I'm measuring at four and a half pounds, people love the canic triggers, as do I, with a reset right there. Very simple disassemble, just like that, it comes off and then back on just as easily. I think Canik does an incredible job, offers a ton of gun for the money. Many people agree with that, therefore it's included. I'm a huge fan of 1911s and when Springfield Armory came out with the Ronin EMP enhanced micro pistol, I was all over it. Chambered in nine millimeter, subcompact with a three inch barrel and nine round magazines. A phenomenal looking and shooting 1911 handgun the trigger pull which is the main reason why one of the main reasons why i love 1911 so much measures right at five pounds but the reset is what really gets you keeps you on target an excellent shooting handgun excellent overall look it does have a three inch bull barrel that is bushingless Two dot rear sights with a fiber optic front sight. Very small configuration. I think it looks great. I think they did a great job with it. Definitely a straight shooter. You get all the benefits of the 1911, what we love about it, along with a nine round, nine millimeter mag. I think Springfield hit it out of the park with the Ronin EMP. Here we have the CZ P10S. Decided to go with another CZ in this review. I went with the P10S. Could have gone with any of the P10 series, but I like this because it has a 12 round magazine, but I put a plus two extension, 14 plus one, and a 3.5 inch barrel model. You can see it has forward serrations, an accessory rail, a 
Tritium front dot, serrated black rear sight. Nice ergonomic feel to it. And what I really enjoy is the trigger. Extremely short reset. Check this out. It shoots like a full-size handgun, even though it's one of CZ's smaller models. I think it's a good-looking handgun. They now make this in flat dark earth and OD green frames. However, this CZ P10S definitely deserves to be in this review. Right around 600 bucks will get you the P10S, and I think it's a worthy choice. This is the FNS 9C. FN now makes the 509 Compact. It hasn't changed too much. They did add suppressor height sights and they made them optic ready. Very expensive. When I first got this, it wasn't too bad, but now they're like 700 bucks and even more for the tactical model. Anyways, 12 round magazine here. A hinge trigger, which is consistent with the 509. I'm measuring right at five and a half pounds with a reset right there. A full pick rail, forward serrations. This one has three dot night sights. And since I have owned this, it has been extremely reliable and accurate. I've run a variety of ammo through it. You can see that it is ambidextrous with the slide stop and magazine release on both sides, making it left-handed friendly. The FN 509, a lot of people love it. You pay for it, but it's certainly a fine handgun. Here is another budget option. It's the Taurus G3X. Just released this year, January 18th, right before SHOT Show. I have never seen so many people excited about the Taurus G3 series, and now they expanded it with the G3X. 15 round magazine so they took the g3 full size grip and mags and kept the slide 3.2 inches and then they removed the thumb safety other than that it's very similar to a g3c with a longer grip with 15 rounds opposed to 12 rounds the trigger pull is right around four and a quarter pounds with a reset Right there, it still has restrike capability and everything else people love with the G3C, including forward serrations, a sight hole indicator, and reliability. At the range, this performed great, just as I've known with the G3 series. Big hit, G3X for 2022. So there it is, 15 of the best. 9mm handguns in today's market for 2022. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think I missed and we'll get the conversation started. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.